Welcome, everybody. I'm Danilo, co-founder of Violetix. Every day you step out of your house, you stand in front of a road. And roads are the largest public asset in the world. But they are in very bad condition. That's a problem. So for the last decades, the roads are getting worse and worse. And there is a reason. Um, the reason is that preventive maintenance is not possible without technology. So this is how preventive maintenance on roads work. Um, you have to find this turning point. With small measures, you can increase the lifetime of your road. So filling a crack, for example, is such a preventive measure. Um, and why is it impossible for cities to perform preventive maintenance? So first, there is no technology, and second, the lack of skilled workers. So that's a huge problem. The town halls are massively impacted by the lack of skilled workers. Um, they're almost dysfunctional, and only technology fill, can fill that gap. So that's why we built our solution, Violetix. We started seven years ago, and I show you how it works. So first, our Violetix app is installed on iPhones. Those smartphones are, for example, behind the windshield of garbage trucks or street sweepers. They drive around all day collect the image data, and then this image data is transferred into our AI, where the magic happens. So here you can see that our neural networks detect single damages on the road surface, like single cracks, potholes, outbursts. So 20 different damage categories can be identified, and this data is then transferred into our web-based management tool. So that is the interface for our users. Let's fly to LA, downtown. I want some proposals for crack sealing um, on good roads, because it makes sense to take care of your good roads. And I do a check, OK, confirming it, there is a crack on a road that is in good condition. And I put a task out of that, crack filling. Um, I can assign a colleague. I put the priority on high. So those 30 seconds of time investment are great. Uh, they have a great ROI because the roads are so expensive. One kilometer of roads costs one million, so it's really a huge error and eye on, on pre performing preventive maintenance on roads. So this management tool is the new era for the town halls, for the road departments in the cities. Um, if you imagine that they still work on pen and paper, they, if they don't have Violetix, you can't believe it, right? It's really, yeah. <laughs> Um, unbelievable. Of course, they have a planning list, they have a task overview, so it's really like the Asana for roads. And it works on bike lanes as well. Now you ask yourself, selling to cities, how does that work? Really? It's a great idea, guys, but how can you scale? And today I'm here to tell you that selling to cities is really amazing. Our sales cycle is so fast, it's comparable to SME B2B sales. Um, what I really love about our customers is their loyalty. Our, this is our all-time logo churn, five below 5%. It shows that once you're in, in that public sector, you, you stay there. Um, our 14% total conversion rate shows that there is a product market fit and um, they really demand our product, enabling us to grow with more than 100% year on year. So yeah, I would say a very classical scale story. Today we serve more than 400 cities, um, most of them in Germany and France, 
that's the markets where we started. And yeah, we're around 100 colleagues all over the world. Um, with all over the world, I mean Europe and US. After closing our Series A last year, um, we entered the US market. So that was our first billboard on the interstate in New Jersey. And now we serve more than 40 customers in US after only 10 months. So, yeah, um, I'm going to explain to you why can we scale faster cities. So there are some external factors. For example, the perfect timing. S the public administration is one of the largest sectors in the world, yet the least digitized. For the last decades, Everyone was building B2B solutions, right? But no one took care of the people in the town hall. I mean, it's a huge sector, but no one, wa no one wanted to get in and to build scalable products for them. It, it was always development projects and so on, and, and poor um, results. And we're really on the forefront of building scalable products for the public administration. Um, and, of course, this problem of the lack of skilled workers lead to the fact that they demand technology. So, we have many inbounds and it shows that um, there is a problem which is really... I'm from Germany and I'm, I'm not sure if some of you are here as well. It's not fun to go into the town halls and, and to do some civil services there because, yeah, it's really very manual, pen and paper based, and you feel like time traveling to the past. And then there are also some internal factors. Obviously, there's a product market fit um, that shows that, uh, <laughs> yeah, our go-to-market approach is right with our marketing, sales, and so on, we can scale. And the product itself is very scalable, so installing an app on the iPhone, driving around and let the AI work, that is very easy. And that technology can be used for every road in the world. And if you imagine that there are yeah, multi-million of kilometers of road network worldwide, um, you understand how big this is. And per year, two trillion are spent in road construction. So, yeah, just giving you an imagination of how big the road network is and why it is, is it important to build something that improves the whole road condition worldwide. That's it. Thank you.